John Dearby! Oh my god, he's so hot. He's so tall. Oh my god. I would so do this is him. There's at least one more drink than I normally have before I come up here, so don't oh, judge me. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't be sorry, Kellyanne. You're a sweetheart. You're the best one here. Thank you. That's right. How's everyone doing tonight? Woo! Good? Yeah! Good. Everyone looks good, I'll say that. Tim That's right. You make oh. laughy. You look like a fucking homeless man. <laughs> You look like you came out of a dumpster and decided to do five minutes tonight. <laughs> I didn't even write that, I just thought it because you, you normally have such style, but not tonight. Um, this is just for cheap applause, but do we have any waiters in the house tonight? Yeah! 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 Oh, shitty way to make a living. <laughs> oh. Hey, fuck oh. you! Depending on your income based on other assholes' opinion of you. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, the only reason I actually mention that is because my story takes place in a restaurant. So I like to know that the people here understand what goes on in a restaurant. I personally have worked around food since I was like 17. My first job ever was Subway. Since I was born. You can clearly tell I'm a sandwich artist. <laughs> Yay. My, uh, my first job out here was at Quiznos. So I've got this sandwich game fucking locked down. <laughs> My knowledge of sandwiches and assholes that eat them is exponential. Um, I will say, in the amount of time that I've worked in the food service, customer service, fuck, basically a bunch of assholes and then most of them eat, I've worked with all of them. I've never, ever seen someone choke or have to do the Heimlich. <laughs> Until recently. Oh, God. A couple months ago, I'm at work. I was bartending at the time. Kellyanne can attest to this. Good bartenders hear everything, but listen to nothing. <laughs> so I know what everyone's saying, but you don't know that I know what you're saying. I'll hear shit happen feet, 10, 20 feet away from me that I understand is happening, but I don't acknowledge it as it's happening because I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. That's how good I am at what I do. <laughs> now this is that sort of situation. I'm behind a bar. There's two ladies, let's say, 12 feet from me. Not in my section, I'm not taking care of them, I have nothing to do with these women. But as I'm behind the bar, I hear one of them go, <laughs> just like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't normally hear that that loudly. So I look, it's two older women sitting on a table very similar to this. And I only say this for the purpose of the story, it has nothing to do with race or anything, but there's a white woman who's not thin, and a black woman who's less thin. That's just for the story. So I'm behind the bar and I hear and I look, because I'm like, I don't fucking hear that that often. So I look, me and the white lady make eye contact, like, what the fuck's going on? Her friend is apparently choking, and I'm like, with my eyes, I'm like, is she okay? And with her eyes, she's like, I have no fucking idea. So she gets up, kind of pats her on the back, like real subtle, like, oh, it's okay, oh, maybe raise your arms, okay. I ignored at that point. I glance back like eight seconds later because I hear, <laughs> and I look back and I'm like, okay, that's definitely not a normal noise to make. And then me and the, me, again, me and the white lady make eye contact and I'm like, is she okay? And she goes, fuck no, with her eyes. She says, fuck no, this is not good. So, you understand that there's a lot of people around. It's not just like me and these two bitches in this place. Like, there's a lot of people around. But apparently, it's just me and these two bitches that understand what's going on right now. So, I'm like, well, fuck. I gotta, I, let, let me at least take the steps over there to see if this helps. So, I walk over, and she's like, <laughs> and I'm like, I look at the lady, and I'm like, ah, uh, do you know what to do here? She goes, fuck no. You're the one, you've got the vest and the tie on. You should know what to do. So I'm like, okay, I instantly make a decision, Heimlich. The Heimlich maneuver. Have any of you ever done the Heimlich maneuver? No. I've seen a fucking poster of it at several jobs I've had, but I'm like, you don't ever have to practice this. It is 
way more like a sexual position than you would ever imagine. Oh my God. And not like in a hot way, like a 69 or something. I'm like, no, but in a very uncomfortable and we don't want to look at each other after it happened sort of a way. <laughs> so I decide, I'm like, I got to do the Heimlich. Okay. So I get behind this lady. Yeah. Now, visually, what this is is a, for lack of a better term, thicker black woman. And my skinny, tall, white ass behind her, like so. <laughs> going, this is like, this is probably like four or five o'clock in the afternoon. It's not like nothing's going, there's a lot of shit happening right now. But apparently we're the only three reacting to this woman about to die. So I can't, I take her from behind, which is my preference if anyone's curious. <laughs> and I just... I start doing what I've seen on fucking television. I don't know, so I just, okay, is this doing anything? <laughs> Nothing. This bitch is still choking. She's looking back at me like, what the fuck do you know what you're doing? And I'm like, nope, really don't. I'm actually very uncomfortable right now. Her friend's like, oh shit. There's some guy who was apparently security or some sort of higher up than I was on the totem pole who was like, kind of getting his phone out, like, well, this might not end that well. Let's see. <laughs> So I'm back there, I'm just like semi-pumping away on this woman, which is like most of the time I have sex. <laughs> I get behind the woman, I feel uncomfortable, but I'm hoping for the best. And I'm hoping she doesn't know that I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Aww. Aww, we haven't slept together, how would you know? <laughs> And so, I'm so behind her, and I'm like, I don't want to hurt her. I've heard stories like, oh, I broke a rib or some shit. I'm like, I don't want to do that. And I'm fucking huge, so I'm not going to break this woman. So I'm pumping away, and nothing's happening. She's still choking. Her friend is about to freak the fuck out. And I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen here. I make it up in my mind. I'm like, she's not going to die in my arms without me giving every ounce of effort I have. Because if this woman, like, blacks out in my arms, I will be traumatized for life. So I give her like three really good pumps. Like I'm just giving it to you. Like right before you're about to, like if you were having sex, right before you're about to finish, you're just like, well, I'm gonna give her the best I have for three more strokes and hopefully that'll really change your mind about this performance. <laughs> so I give her my last good, three really good strokes. And I'm like, ugh, ha, ugh. And it worked. She's, it got far enough up and like most times I end having sex, she threw up. Oh my God. I patted her on the back, and I'm like, it's okay, it was my fault. Oh my God. And then it was, and instantly after that happened, like, technically, I don't say this, but technically I saved her life. I think she might, it might not have ended as well had I not been back there pumping her from behind. Oh my God. So I technically saved her life. But even with that being said, we are super weird around each other. Instantly. <laughs> like, as soon as it was, like, she threw up, and it was like, okay, so are you going to stay, or are you just, <laughs> you wanna, I'm going to go back there, because I have a job, I got to I gotta work, you know how that is, I got to work. I'm going to go. And then, like, most awkward sexual encounters, um, we didn't speak again. <laughs> we couldn't even really look at each other. And she left me $20 before she left. <laughs> Which is normally my role, so I actually appreciated that reversal. I liked being the one being left the money. But it's weird because... You don't have to clap yet, I'm almost done. It's weird because it's like you can work in an industry that... That should happen a lot. That should come up all the time. Yet, I've worked in it for like 14 years and have never seen it. Had to do it once. And literally every person that should have known what to do stood around and watched. Just like every time I've had sex. Uh, that's my time. Thank you, guys. <laughs>